Andrew, down on troops, but didn't stop. Stayed no. in the contest. I imagine you take a lot of pride out of round two. Yep. Yeah, I just said to the boys, super proud um, how hard we're competing for how long and and when things aren't going our way, we're, we're not throwing the towel in. So super proud of that. Just We just keep making it really hard, putting ourselves under pressure. The possession counts just getting out of control. So we knew that. We wanted to work on it. And, um, I could see we're, work, we're trying to, to get better at that, but we just can't lose confidence and we will, we will sort it out. And if we combine that with the resilience and how hard we're working for each other, we're going we're gonna to win enough games, so, yeah. You could have felt that you could have also snatched the victory. I mean, there was no one at dummy half. That was a bit of a yeah. crazy moment, but you had good ball there at the end. Yeah, I felt like when we, I felt like when we got it to a six point game, I felt like we had enough ball there to go and win it and go after the game. I felt like it's probably a bit of a fatigue factor with the, how much pressure we put on ourselves that we weren't really executing at the speed we wanted. Concentrations down, we made, that was a bad mistake, no one had dummy half. We dropped the ball on the other side. Um, when you get that much ball and that opportunity at the end of the game, um, you want to be swinging punches with, with good execution. And we were trying, trying so hard, but we, we just weren't, weren't nailing it at the right time. So I feel like we could have gone after it better. Yeah. How pleasing was it then? You lost, obviously, Jackson Ford early. Yep. You also had to have Murata off for a period of that first half. Yep. They go ahead, but you still fight your way back in the first half. Yeah, I reckon Toya should talk about because he's out there. I, I'm super proud of that. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy, like, the... The adversity we had to face, um, yeah, definitely, and you know, to finish with one sub, you know, I thought we activated Bailey Surinam, who came on and did a great job, gave us energy. What do you? What? Yeah, no, I, I thought like I'm, I'm with Webby. I'm super proud of the guys too. Like, lost a couple of guys early, and and we didn't have much possession, especially in the first half. That, um, but the group was calm, um, and we've got guys who can sort of slot into different positions, um, pretty well. So. That sort of helped help the, the calmness of the team, and and we knew that we needed to start completing sets and just get into a bit of a an arm wrestle and get in, and get into a rhythm to get ourselves back into the game. And I thought we did that pretty well, but um, we just didn't do it for long enough periods of the game. Um, we started to get into a rhythm and then sort of let them off the hook, and um, yeah, and that happened too many times in the second half. Maybe how are they in the fight with concussion and Josh as well? So. Jacko and Chance, um, they're talking fine in there, but just how they pull up from that, I gather. Um, so at this stage, they just they failed their their HIA, so yeah. couldn't come back. Um, Murata was good; he came back. Josh Curran's got a bit of a hit pointer at the moment, which I think everyone knows how painful they are. You get hit right there, you can't move. So, um, is there anyone else? Seems, I'm not sure, yeah. seems like there's a few, <laughs> but well. We'll mop up, mate. We're going home straight away now. So we'll go back and recover well and get ready to fight again. What learnings do you take out of this is when you're in a position to win a game to, to win it, I guess? Yeah, I, I just think you, there's, a long, there's a long time on the clock. So there was a long time we, we, we didn't have to score off that next play. We, we could have built some more pressure there. And, but when we, when we do go after it, like go at, a, at speed and, and back yourself that you know, we're going to come away with something here. I, I just felt like in those times, yeah, the concentration levels, but this is the part of me saying, boys, I get it, because yeah, the fatigue factor is huge. But yeah, the, the thing I learned is that in those situations, if we were clinical, I think we could have put them under some pressure and, and, and drained them and then, got a, and then won the game. So yeah, we'll, we'll learn plenty. That, that resilience, that gutsiness, is that, is that sort of what you'd like to be, I guess, the trademark of the character of this club? Yeah, especially in your early, I mean, the whole time you're there, but especially in the early days there where you're laying your foundations yep. in the next little period. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's lots of things we want to be, but there's three, three things about our identity. We want to be resilient, have each other's back, keep turning off for each other. We want to get the details right, though. Um, we don't want to be, like, in the NRL, just being tough and, and working hard for each other. It's just not going to be enough. You've got to get the details and you've got to get the execution. So, But, but it's a great place to start. It's a great fit. You're going to want any of one of those three things. You're going to want resilience and, and toughness. So proud of that. Tohu, 54 tackles last week, 55 this week. So I don't know whether you're a good man to speak about fatigue factor. I don't know whether you suffer fatigue, but what was the fatigue level like out there for the players? Warm day, and especially for the Warriors players after everything went against you and the rotation got thrown out of kilter. Um, no, it obviously um, would like to make less tackles. That, that would be nice, but. Um, but I feel like we we had enough in the tank to be able to 
to execute our plays and, and go through that. But we just yeah didn't do enough good job, uh, yeah. good enough job of getting those details right mm -hmm. and building pressure. Um, but we certainly like uh, that's that's another thing that I'm that I'm proud of is we we certainly had enough in the tank to to throw some things at at the Roosters and um, yeah it was just it was probably just come down to the details and building pressure that um, that we didn't get right so yeah I, I think I think the juice in the tank like our fatigue levels they they were fine but again we would like to have a bit more energy and and I'd like to think mm. those details would come with with less fatigue but um, yeah there's certainly enough there for us to execute. Maybe just a, a quick word Obviously, he's got to try and want to set one up in that second half as well. He's yep. been immense the first two weeks of the year. Yeah, so twice he's had to come back from an injury to come back on and do it and came back on my line break and oh, we should have scored there, I thought. So uh, he's been excellent, super proud of him. He's a good player and great club and everyone loves him. And um, yeah, he was he had a little bit of pain there and to come back, that was very resilient again. Mm. I think we've got to make our flight. Sorry, guys. Cheers for that.